Welcome back to Church Jamaican for part four of our exciting feature on the Accompong Maroons in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. Mark, our tour guide, continues to wow us with the village beautiful culture. Come and chat with Tanya, everyone from different culture. Learn the Jamaican structure, just like, share and subscribe, yeah. Mix your rum. Yeah, I prefer some. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. 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 Salam, Mm. 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 Like I would say, welcome all my own Pikini. And then we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe is like Christian would say, Amen. And Salam would be like the Muslim way of Salam, Salam, Alaikum, Salam. Okay. Because what I learned is that Kojo and his people there, some of them were Muslim too. So we still keep the practice. This area now is called Kinda, which Kinda is an African word that means one family. It was right here at this spot that Koji and his people sit and formulate all the war plans. Plans that they formulate was just a victorious one that from 1738, 39 up until today, when you have the annual festival of the Maroons in January, it started right here. The ceremony coincided with a ceremonial feasting, drumming and dancing. The spices are seasoning. Why? Because when our ancestors were isolated, they never had the chance of going to the shop to buy to buy salt or easy spice like we can do today but they have to eat to survive so basically what they used to do they used to swinge the meat with pimento leaves to get the flavor in and once they get the flavor in they would cook it and up until today when we have the january celebration a big black hog is prepared and that hog is cooked without the salt spices or seasoning it is yam rooster planting rooster uh, rooster with the with the hog with the hog roost yam rooster planting and and the pig why because when they used to in the mountain and isolated they used to hunt white boars and birds so we subsidize the rooster for the birds no and the rooster is just a rooster you see running around and when that food is cooked some is taken further down to a place called old town or unfairy town to give a crisp or a poor liberation because when you see i pour the rum this process is called libration. It means cheering up the spirits of the ancestors. After you pour a libration, the ancestors are satisfied because you feed them. Oh. And then the people, they march back up. And no matter where in the world you're from, I want to partake of this food, you get a little taste. And a lot of people over the years, crazy to eat this food because they say when they eat it, they get a, like a ear all around luck. No saltness, everything, prosperity for them throughout the years. But the food is cooking that fancy beer. And when it, meanwhile it is cooking, the people are singing, drumming and dancing here. That block you're looking at now, the peace cave was where the ambush trap was set in, seven, in 1738. And after that, the ambush trap, that is the same place that they go back to in 1739 to sign the peace treaty. So hence it's called the ambush cave first. And now it's termed as the peace cave. As, as, I suppose I can send you some picture of the peace cave, which I have on my phone. Okay. Yeah. It's a part of cockpit country. 
So we're looking at the land on that side. It is a part of the Coptic country. Very beautiful. I need a picture where you're sitting. She got juked by the spirit weed. Spirit oh. weed, spirit weed after him say baby. Like baby, like I tell you about the marigold, a baby be tea or make put it under their pillow. Even mm -hmm. big people can keep that in their wallet, you know. It's oh, a way as of prosperity. The spirit oh, weed? Yeah. yeah. Give me two. So this is the spirit weed. So you can keep it into your wallet yeah. as a way of prosperity. And to hinder evil from coming and, around you. And to hinder evil from coming around you. So you know that I am leaving with my spirit weed. weed. Alright, so this is my spirit weed and I am definitely going to keep it into my purse. In order to ward off evil and also for luck and prosperity. And prosperity. Alright, so if you need any other spirit weed, just know who to check. Mm -hmm. Just check me and I'll get it for you. Money have come here. Money. All right, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. What is your name? Daria. Daria what? Hello. Where are you living? Jamaica. And which part in Jamaica do you live? A compound. How do you like a compound? Mm. It's nice? Yes. No crime? Eh? No crime, no war, no violence? No. And you're comfortable? Yes. What are some things you do in a compound? Um, play. What, what are some of the games that you play? Hide and seek. You hide in the bush? Yes. How? Like, the people them count. And we go hide. If they find us. They go hide. Next, they have to find the other people. Okay, interesting. Very good. Your sister Amora? Yes. Good afternoon, Amora. Good afternoon. Could you say your name? Amora Ro. Where do you live? In a compound. And you yes. go to school in a compound? Yes. Do you like your teacher? Yes. yes. What it is like going to a compound primary? Fun. It's fine. How are you, sir? At the bamboo or the tree? Alright, guys, so I am leaving Kinder and it was a great experience looking at the burial ground, learning about our, the ancestors that came from Africa and all of that. So it was very interesting. So we had a great day. It was a wonderful day, a great experience. And I do hope that you just subscribe to the channel and you will learn more about the Jamaican culture. That is what we do. We chat Jamaica. So please remember to like, share and subscribe. All right. So little brother, little white man.
Really? Pass through. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Let's go up in the tree. Jeep, but you yeah, said the little white brother. The little white brother. <laughs> and uh, guys, we know that that is Jesus. Yes, sir. Zaki, you said DJ that one? <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> Guys, this was, a, this, this was a wonderful tour. I am enjoying the experience. Jamaica is a beautiful country. We are rich. Our culture is one of the best cultures that there is on the earth. And we are so grateful. We are happy. We are loved. We are beautiful people and to have all this rich tradition about their compound the maroon culture and everything it is a wonderful and great experience and i love every bit of it Good afternoon. I know, I know I know you were growing with your grandma mm -hmm. and your grandma teach you some of the original language. Could you speak even five or six words so we can tell with the meaning please? Mm -hmm. Oh that's hectic. That's a language. Yokon kopikibu. Kuma kuma nanaka na ya kaku kuma niya kusu kuma ketiko kuma niya kasnas. What did you just say? I speak the the history. You know what? What did you speak it in English, no brother? No, I, this is in African. I need you to give it three words in English then. Kuma kuma ni mingu welcome. Mm, kuma kuma ya what it mean? You mean welcome? Okay, you're just saying welcome. Kuma mm. wa? Kuma. Kuma kuma ya. Kuma kuma ya. Yeah. Mm, like how me say, yo kunko pikibu. I mean welcome maroon pikini. Oh. Mm. Pikibu ni, is pikini? Nyanki pong pikibu. I'm sure. Yo kunko pikibu, I mean say welcome maroon pikini. Because maroons are all over the diaspora. So it's not like I'm talking about oh. a kumpong alone. Okay. You are called parade. And the parade ground was weird during the war days. That was here was weird because they used to train in soldiers them. After training them, they would lead them to kinder to facilitate the war plans. Plans that they facilitate was such a victorious one that from 1738-39 up until to date, the annual festival after the ceremonial feasting, the 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 speechy thing with all dignitaries and things is hosted right here on the parade ground. And the primary school of a compound is located on the parade ground also history have it to say when they excavate the land down to build the parade ground they spoil the beauty and the texture of the land but at the present what used to happen during those days when persons do crime or act in the community they used to come here and try them like a court and if oh. one found if one found guilty they used to lash them so you have oh. your own jurisdiction your own. Mm -hmm. and if they lash if they found guilty they will lash them with a thing called cat and nine tail cat and nine tail is a three-legged sprung once you get one it's three two is six and three is it nine still exists no from 1944 until today, we don't do that anymore. If persons found guilty of whether rape or murder, we'd have to hand them out to the outdoor government because we have no jail cell here and yes, no prison. Yes, but if it's if it's minor, then the colonel and the council can settle it. But if it's like no one don't really do prisoner loss in here because if you have a breadfruit on your tree and I have a banana, we share as a communal community. And we thank you for coming. This is the end of your whole tour and your visit to our compound. Hope you enjoy all the aspect and the love.
and the sunshine and the warmness and we hope you come again when CVD19 leave. <laughs> <laughs> and Koja, we are so happy and grateful for the opportunity to be here. It was a great experience. Um, we had fun. We we learned a lot. We learned we learned about the tradition, the culture, our ancestors, everything. It was a wonderful and fulfilled experience. And I know that we would come back again because um, what we have experienced here is you know it's one in a million and even even today just because of COVID-19 on your trip here today we could give you some cultural experience like with food and drumming yes. but because we have to keep the social distance so we, even when we are a social community of a community but the sickness is not for me you nor anyone it's for everybody so we have to just stay on our put. So we definitely have to come back for the food. Yes. You know, come and um, plan a food session and just come and experience food and the, drumming. Um, food and drumming. Yes. So that will be we will definitely come back to. Yeah, man. I will keep in touch. Yes. And whenever time I have some links, I'll just forward it to you so you can post it too. All yes, right. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank have you. a blessed day and give thanks for coming. Thank you. Ashe, Ashe. What Ashe Ashe means? Like we we'll say, Amen, but. I don't say hey them men. So, ashe, ashe. Salam alaikum, alaikum salam. Salam alaikum, alaikum salam. Yeah, that's the Muslim way, you know? Yeah. What was it like visiting a compound for the first time? Hi, Hi. my name is Garcia. I've always wanted to come here, but for some strange reasons, I've never been. Um, it was a really good experience. I my favorite part was taking picture with the abeng of the abeng <laughs> at the entrance and the cemetery was a bit scary the what was the name again kinder the kinder tree that was that was a good experience as well with the rocks and the the strong history so that was good it's a really nice and welcoming community and you should come here too <laughs> whenever you get the time okay hey guys my name is natania i don't have much words <laughs> as garisha but my experience <laughs> all in all it was a great experience my favorite part was the the tree con kinder. kinder tree and we picked some lucky grass i have them in my phone case for luck <laughs> It was a great experience. I learned a lot about the history of Okompong and Maroon and yes, you guys should come. Whenever you guys are coming <laughs> Whenever you guys are coming on the tour, ensure you come with comfortable shoes as well as a hat and something comfortable probably like yeah. a gym wear we had to get a lot of bag juice on the way because it's very very hot so also walk with a lot of water and guys i'm going to put emphasis on the shoes do not wear zippers at the i don't even know because i came here with zippers and it it's completely gone and it's not a rain time exactly <laughs> They have a lot of rocks here, so it's kind of slippery. So, guys, do get some shoes. Trust me, it's the worth. Bye, and thanks for watching Chat Jamaican with Tanya. Thanks for watching. Like more. Construct charge, just like, share, and subscribe. Yeah.